Sir Bernard Jenkin, who has admitted or admitted going to a party for his wife's birthday uh, during the COVID period, has now been cleared by the Parliamentary Commissioner for Standards, Daniel Greenberg, of any wrongdoing during the or as, as part of the Partygate scandal. As a party that took place on December the 8th, I don't know whether it was specifically to um, celebrate his wife's birthday or whether it was perhaps to celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, but it was immaculately turned out and uh, they seem to have got away with it. And that possibly is a positive at the moment when so much negativity is running around his wife or rather his ex-wife, Baroness Anne Jenkin, organised the event, sent invitations via WhatsApp for what she described as a birthday drinks. And the MP confirmed that he did attend the event for about 40 minutes. He said the party was primarily intended to provide an occasion to promote the work of Women to Win, an organisation founded by Baroness Jenkin. Uh, Anne and I were due to celebrate her birthday alone together at dinner that evening in a restaurant near Tower Bridge, and a reservation had been made for 8 p.m. I had also agreed to attend the online Zoom meeting of my local Conservative Association executive, which commenced at or soon after 6 p.m., and which, as usual, I was asked to speak at which. Uh, so he says that he regretted attending the party, in retrospect, given the acute hardship these rules inflicted on the public and the need for those in public life to set an example, whatever the position in law, I should have been mindful how such an event could be construed and wish I had not attended. He's absolutely right, of course. So it is, I think, very positive. Here we've got an apology together with an exoneration. Now that, I think, is rare, and that's the sort of proper honourable way for uh, an event to be analysed and to be um, and, 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 and to be reported. It's uh, Jenkin comes across with dignity. Having done something which is not entirely appropriate, he puts his hand up and the parliamentary standards has found him not guilty. Uh, in contrast, we had the story yesterday of Donkey Gove, who uh, somehow or other forgot about all the uh, hospitality that he's been offered in football clubs. I mean, I, 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 can't, I can't see Donkey Gove as being anything of a football fan, so I would have thought every time he, tra he tra traipses out in all his finery uh, towards the football stadium, it must be something of... An event, my mind, goes back to David Meller and his football uh, strip or his football kit. I'm not sure whether strip or kit is appropriate. I think the kit was stripped in that particular instance, or maybe the kit was put on. Uh, I have no idea. When it, when it comes to football, my mind's a blank. I've actually been invited to the first football match I think I've ever been asked to attend. I, I don't remember ever playing football, and I certainly have never watched it, not even on telly. So that would be something of a surprise uh, if I actually get there. I mean, should I declare the hospitality to anybody? Or will I find myself standing room only somewhere, or, or, or sitting on a slightly moist bench? I don't know. I don't know how football works. But clearly, clearly, um, uh, Donkey Gove is very well uh, is very well aware of the going ins and outs of football.